Good morning, grade 4, and welcome to our Mathy and Arts. Our lesson for today is all about printmaking. So what is printmaking? Printmaking is first developed as a means of printing patterns on cloth and by the 5th century. It is the artistic design and manufacture of prints such as woodcuts or self prints. Process of printmaking A relief print is an image created by a printmaking process where, where protruding surface spaces of the matrix, printing plate or block are ink. Process of printmaking Ethnic motifs can be used to create design for a relief for relief printing which can be re repeating, alternating, or radiating. This is the example of repeating design. Next, alternating design. This is the example. Ethnic motif or what we call projecting design. Okay, that is the example of projecting design. Next is the glue print. This is another printmaking process done without a press. For this kind of printmaking, white glue and aluminum foil are used to create print with positive and negative lines. Example of glue print is what you see in the screen. Next, cardboard print. Cardboard print is a process of printmaking that uses cardboard either either plain or corrugate. Recycled cardboard can be used also. Example of cardboard print is is like this. Found object print. Found object print is originated from the print object truth, describing are created from undi undis undisguised but often modified objects or, or products that are normally considered art. So here is the one here is the one of the example of found object print. Other printing techniques. First, we have fruit and vegetable prints. For this kind of printmaking, fruits and vegetables are used to create prints. So, one of the examples of fruit and vegetable prints is just like this. So, for this picture, he used a broccoli, which is the vegetable. And second one is corn, carrots, and Lemon Linoleum block print making A line print result when a piece of linoleum has had has had pie cut out of it, been ink and been printed. One of the example of this is just like this. Mono print. This is a process whereby only one print is pulled from the printing plate. This can be done with foil, block, and watercolor resist techniques, crayons, and others. So that is the example of mono prints. Styrofoam relief print making. This is a form of relief print make printing that makes makes use of readily available styrofoam meat and vegetable trays. That is the example of styrofoam relief print making. Next is tennis ball prints. This, this technique 
uses thin tennis balls top or drop onto paper to make a print. That is the example of tennis ball prints. Other printing techniques were discovered and introduced by artists from Japan, China, Africa, and Europe. China The woodcut technique was used for decorating textile in China as early as the 5th century. Ink paper printing from cut wooden blocks and movable type were all invented in China. This is the example of China printed making. Japan The Japanese technique of wood block print making is very different to the Western technique. While in the Western tradition, Oil-based ink is applied with a ruler and print, printed onto the paper surface. That is the examples of Japan printmaking. Africa Africa has in tablet printmaking, relief process, surface process, stencil process, and color prints. Africa has enjoyed the studio techniques and screen printing. That is the example of African print making. Next is the Europe. Prints are defined by pressing ink block or plate and a carving design onto a support, typically a paper. Europe's early prints were primary, prim, ma, primary meal, wood cuts, engravings, and etchings. Lithography and intaglio techniques were also used. So that is the examples of Europe printmaking. Next is the Philippines. Philippines printmaking was accepted as an art in the 1960s. Some methods used in printmaking in the Philippines are intaglio, linoleum block print, lithography, serigraphy, or self skin wood block and dry point. <coughs> Manuel Rodriguez, Street and Rodolfo Paras Perez were responsible for the development of this interest. Rodriguez became the father of the Philippine printmaking. This is the examples of Philippine printmaking. Distinguishing between addit additive and subtractive process. Additive process. Additive process is used in creating a relief master by adding glowing strings, cardboard, found objects, and glue objects with varied texture. Subtractive process. Subtractive process is used by carving or cutting outlines and shapes from the master tape. So that's all. Thank you. Bye bye.